Okay, here we go. Another very, very simple upgrade. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad. I think this is the L520. Just bear with me. Yep. I hope you can see that. The L520. Quite a nice bit of kit, really. We've got the 420s. I presume this is the up, upmarket one. Don't know. Don't know. This is as simple as the other one. The other one, you took all the back panel off, and it was quite straightforward. This is a very simple... Just this panel here. So let me just get you lined up. Excuse my hands. I'm going to go for hard drive and memory upgrade on this if it hasn't already been done. Just checking it. It came back in yesterday. So we got an extra. We got a spare slot. I don't know what's in there. To be honest with you, we'll have a look at that. It looks like a two gig. So we're going to upgrade it. Got an eight eight gig to go in. And depending on what we got, this is a two hundred and forty gig Intel SSD drive, solid state drive. So just I think we're just sliding back. That's him. And lift the front up. We got in, Master Digital, 320 gig. So this is a this will be a good upgrade for that. So to upgrade these, take it out the cradle. Like so if you take it out the cradle in the position that you find it, it must make life a lot easier for yourself. So just turn him round. I'm not I'll do. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Sort of at the boring bits. Okay. So lift this off. So you've took it off that way. So you know full well. With the new drive, turn it upside down. Put it back on the same way. Okay, line them up. Screw them back in. And there we go, that's the one upgrade done. So slotting back in the same way. Line him up. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. That's it. And then sliding forward. That's that upgrade done. So just to earth myself. I just want to see what memory stick this is. It tells me. Yeah, it is only just a two gig. So I can leave him in there actually, it won't hurt. Put the eight in, that gives us ten. So you just push him forward, push him flat. Done. Now we could fire it up before we put the case back on again, which is not a bad idea because that way you'll know that the memory is compatible and she fires up and works. So I tend to do that if we've got power. But if we haven't, just bear with me. Didn't think we did have. Green light coming on. There we go. Now it's froze a little bit, so we'll see. Leave it for a second. Because it might not like the two sticks in there together. So that's always a good test to do when you're relearning a new laptop. So what I'll do now, I'll take out the 8 gig stick and see what happens. So we'll turn her off. Hold the power button in for 7 to 10 seconds. Okay. Flip it over. What I might do, well we'll do that first. We'll take out the 8 gig. We're not going to get much any further because the hard drive as well is probably no not configured for the machine but I just want to make sure it'll go P 
repair. I think the hard drive is just the, when you swap a hard drive, I didn't realize it had a Windows oper an operating Windows system on it. Yeah, so I don't think it's the memory. I think the fact that the hard drive has got already an operating system on it, which is not compatible with the hardware in this laptop. So therefore, it just goes, well, I'm, I'm not going any further. So we'll do a total reinstall and go from there. So we'll get a USB stick going. We'll go into the BIOS if we can first. See which, I think it's either F2 or F10. Okay, let's try this first. F2. That got me anywhere. F10. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to pop the memory back in. And I want to boot straight from a USB stick, so we'll go straight to that. Okay, I'm not going to put the cover back on, like I said, till it's fully tested. So back in again. Press escape, or F, and I think it's F12. F, there we go. Right, so now I want a USB stick with Windows 10 on. Let me do another reboot. It should pick it up. Okay. F12, no escape. Right, so we should get... Ugh, I missed it. Press too many buttons. Okay, press it again. F12. I think it's F12. I did press escape. Bearing boot list. Right, so now I'm going to come down to secure lock, which is what I put in. Press enter, and we should get a boot from that. Right, hopefully that should work. Give it a sec. You have to wait about, I don't know, it's about half a minute to a minute, and then you might get it if it's compatible for Windows 64 bit, Windows 10. It doesn't, we'll try 32-bit. Okay, here we're having a problem now. I've just took the memory out. And we've still got a bit of a problem here. So it could be the drive we put in, or there could be a fault on the machine. So I'm going to pop another drive in, and then we'll go from there. This time I won't put the case in on. Like I said, we'll just test it. This is where it makes life a lot easier. So we'll switch off. I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, slide the drive out. This is only 120 gig. Um, line him up. Oop. Pop him in. It might even be the operating system. It might not like it, so we'll see. This is an i5, so F12, power induced device, pop down, USB secure, press enter, okay I'll give you, so I'll come back to you if it works. Oh, we still have the same problem, so I'm going to try Windows 10 32 bit. Version this is, I'm just guessing there. We've got a couple of versions on the top of my PC, so oh, it's Windows 7. Hmm, right. So it sounds like it doesn't that was probably is Windows 10 32 bit, it doesn't like 64 bit. So, what I'll do now, I'll stop it again and change it over for the 250 gig SSD. I've put 128 gig SSD in it. Mind you, I could leave it at that, to be honest with you. It's only a spare machine. United Kingdom. Next. Now I'm going to stop it because I want to put the memory back in. 
Yep, cancel. It won't do any harm anyway, so turn it off. No, that's off, sorry. That's off. Right, so pop it over. I'll pause you. I'm going to do the case for this for the hard drive. Put the memory back in. Well, I put the memory back in while you're here. I'll swap the hard drive over. Okay. Um, what I'll probably do really is just see if this works now, see if it fires up uh, with the 8 gig of memory in it, so it's 10 gig altogether, 128 gig SSD, probably running Windows 7. What I will do then, I will download using a USB tool I've got on my PC behind, behind this machine, that one behind this one, and I will download 32 bit Windows. 10 and we'll give that a go. Let's just see if we fire up with the memory in F12. Sorry for the long, long winded video, but this is okay. Secure lock, enter. Let's see if she boots straight away. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, it must be Windows 10 64 bit, it doesn't like. I'll download 32 and then we'll give it another go and see how we go on with that one. Just see if that goes to the end. Well, that's looking good. Right, okay, so I'll download Windows 10 32 bit. Get back to you in a sec. Okay, on my PC I have a Microsoft uh, Windows 7 DVD download tool. And what I do with this, because we have multiple licenses, if I go to Browse in here um, and Downloads, I can have a Windows 10 32 or 64 bit. I click on the Windows 10 32 bit, go Next. It automatically associates with the USB device. Click Next on that, begin copying. And then erase, yes. I've got a USB device in my machine, which is, there we go. Let me come out. That one, it'll format that. And then when it's ready, the screen will change. That's me in the background, sorry. There we go. And that'll pop stuff in the files. It's formatted at the moment, it's a 64 gig stick. It only puts what it needs on, and then it makes it bootable. Ooh, sorry about that. And then we'll come back to you. So while waiting for that, I'll just put the cover back on, which is pretty straightforward as it was taking it off. on there That's it. this corner in that corner in and push it home That's it last but not least and screw it up okay so there you go Windows 10 32-bit is compatible with this machine. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to share, like, or subscribe, that would be fantastic. Take care. Catch you in the next vid.